Hello survivors, I'm the Survival Vis, and welcome to Risk of Rain 2 Early Access. This is the very first release of Risk of Rain 2 on Steam, and I'm immediately playing it just after Gearbox's PAX East panel. Well, panel, or kind of main show, you kind of get the idea. So I played a little bit before, I originally meant to make it my very first recording going in, However, the audio didn't quite save, so this is going to be our first little hop-in of what it is. So we're going to do the Commando. He's a nice burst... well, I can't really say versatile, but... He's pretty good at keeping mobile, kind of your standard great way to start off with a good footing. So we'll hop in with him. And there's still uh, quite a few things that I'm trying to pick the hand... or get a handle on for how it plays. But what Risk of Rain 2 is... It is a sequel to Risk of Rain, which was a 2D rogue... I can't really say roguelite. What would be the best word there? Oh, a barrel right here, so we got ourselves a bit of money. Now, got shot. So we need 40 coins for whatever that is. Nothing really... Oh, we're just a little bit short. I wonder if we can find one more of those little flame guys around we can take out for a little bit of quick cash. Because I don't see an easy way down, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Here's what I'm looking for. So the original was a 2D roguelike where it's basically shooting and trying to survive waves of enemies. The second one is now basically the same but 3D, and it's very smooth to control. Well, might as well... Oh. Yeah, since you volunteered, we'll take you out. Activate the healing drone. Oh, already facing off, I think, an elite of these guys. Get him down. Come on. There we go. Nope. Getting shot by a couple of you guys hiding back there. Now, it's basically wave survival, but you want to find the teleporter. That's, you can see in the top right there, it has a little prompt for you to try to do that. Nothing in that barrel. Uh, I guess those are just kind of pillars there. Hey, hey leave my drone alone! If you want to go after somebody, you go after me. There we go, handle that, handle you. Take care of you. Now, the game does offer mouse and keyboard support, and I'm playing with controller, er, controller and mouse and keyboard support. I'm playing with controller. The controls, all, mm, the controls already are very nice and smooth, and everything feels very fluid and well-coordinated for what they've set for the controls. Like, all the shortcuts and everything are very intuitive for the controller I, I use and play with. Oh. down as well. There we go. Nope. Uh, is there anything else along this bridge, or...? Oh, there is you. Let's just take you out quickly. Would you guys leave the drone alone? If you want to go for something, go after me. I don't know what that is. Is that my drone? No, that's not my drone. My drone's there. I don't... Okay, maybe we shouldn't try pissing off what might be a very large bird thing in the sky. And there's something in here. Oh, I guess that's just lights or something for atmosphere or ambience. Oh, a lot of you guys coming around and kind of annoying us. Oh, take down the beetle. Down you guys before you can fire off more. And I guess we'll head down whatever this is. So you kind of level up in the bottom left there. I don't actually know if you really gain that much damage for each level. Oh, what's this? Yeah, we'll repair the gunner drone and open the chest here up. So we got gasoline. Killing enemies sets nearby enemies on fire. Ooh. That's a nice little effect, actually. There we go, pop that off. Oh, looks like we came across a few more of these guys down here. We'll just take care of them. I hear something, Big Stomp. Oh, there he is. 
I knew I heard something big kind of going around on us there. Oh, another one right after him. Now. There we go. And let's keep looking, see if we can find this teleporter. like another roadway up oh. all those guys let's see what's up this way so it looks like the gas can is basically a passive piece of equipment I guess there's passive and Ooh, now there's passive and active bonuses that you can get let's open that up what's this soldier syringe increase attack speed oh Okay, so that's actually pretty good. That'll help us as we keep exploring going through here. There we go. Okay, we'll take care of those guys rather easy. And some more. And let's see what's down this way now. Oh, another Lemurian. That's what the little snake guys are called. You might get lucky and as you're going through, some of the monsters will drop a little log book that kind of has information about them. Ah, keep making our way, oh, there we go. And take care of you. But, yeah, we're up to level five now from clearing these guys out. got a nice bit of range for what we can actually sh hit enemies with. Like, I thought maybe we'd be kind of at a disadvantage, only certain or certain ones at a certain range you'd really be able to hit, but it seems like if you can see them and you have a clear kind of sight... Oh, a Chrono Ball. Slow enemies on hit. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh looks like there's something over there. Out. You seem to just come out of nowhere on us. Take you down. There we go. And see what all this is down here. Oh. That got shot by you. So what's this? Oh, an equipment barrel. Now, primordial cube. Fire a black hole that draws enemies in. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, that'll, that clears those guys up really nice and easy. Now, it looks like there's something here. What do we got? Um, a sword? I guess we'll take the sword, whatever it means. Tri-tip dagger. Chance to bleed enemies on hit. Oh, and what's really cool is everything you pick up, you actually carry on your character. So that's a nice little kind of show off how far and how long you've kind of been surviving this these waves. Down and you down. So I'm still looking to try to find out where this teleporter is. Maybe it's up wherever this guy's route will take us. Well, only one way to find out, really. Okay, so which way do we go from here? Did I even want to go this way, or did I want to try going over there? Oh! Got a few people joining us. I guess we'll try going this way first. Don't know if this actually... I don't know if this will really take us anywhere. At least enemies are spawning, so you know it can't be uh, too bad of a death. A dead end. Never mind. And just clean those guys up with that power shot. There we go. Okay. Well, let's try going this other way then. Or oh, that's a dead end kind of suit. Oh! Maybe this is what we need. Offer to Shrine of the Woods. Oh, another healing drone. Okay. 
Okay, and is there anything down this way? Well, not really looking like it is there. Oh, or what's... No, no, I guess this is just part of the environment, maybe? Lunar? I don't know, that's kind of weird to find, but okay. guys, if you can. I've seldom to play the mess of these. Let's just see if we can okay, funnel everybody into the black hole or anybody who's left. There we go. Okay, so nothing down this way, so we still gotta keep looking. I mean, having the gunner drone and the healing drones are really nice. I don't think we'll make another offering. It does make me wonder where we're supposed to be trying to go next, or where this thing is hidden. Maybe it's over this way? Oh, that's what we're looking for. That right there is the teleporter. So this thing, once you activate, it kind of creates a zone around it. And the beetle. Oh, that's a big beetle. Not one to take lightly. Well, and she's digging, I think. Now, let's see if we can take her down. There we go. We managed to take her down. God, I think we'll remain in this kind of zone around the teleporter for a while. Oh, there's something here. Old War Stealth Kit. And let's get everybody fed into the black hole. There we go. Yeah, so the teleporters, I think, are how you kind of end the little stages you're in and move on to the next. I want to see, did she drop anything, or... Doesn't really look like it. Just saying to tell us to proceed to the teleporter, proceed through it. There we go. Okay, so that was... Oh, there we go. So that was, I guess, how we kind of cleared the stage. And we're into a new one. The wetland aspect. Rehabilitation zone. Oh. So I guess it's just kind of rinsing and repeating of that kind of process, but along the way, you can pick up more and more things. So, okay, I guess it reset all of our coin to zero, but we gotta keep the gear. And now we're into medium difficulty. Oh, no, oh, you're something to destroy too. Okay, I didn't realize that. 75 for you. Okay, so we will have to find and take out quite a few things to be able to start affording stuff again. So I guess this is just kind of, sort of like how enter the dungeon, you go through different floors. Or here, it's just going through different areas, basically. Oh. Take that out. Out. Might as well open that equipment barrel up. Get disposable missile launch. Ooh! I like the boom. That's a really nice find. And then see if we can take down a few more. And open up that chest. And Old War Stealth Kit. T turn missile on taking heavy damage. So is, I guess that's my second one? Um, oh, what the heck, let's go for that tooth necklace. 
monster do? Drop a healing orb on kill. Ooh. Oh, never seen... What? Ooh. There are some pretty unique enemies kind of showing up and around us now. So, let me head back and... Oh, no, I did get a chance to open that up. I gotta admit, I do like that little burst of damage that we can get coming out. Oh, uh, sticky bomb. Okay, so you basically just keep going through and outfitting your guy. And I think the longer you're out, the harder and harder it gets. So maybe we want to try and get out of here as soon as we can. Just because I don't want it to be too challenging. Oh, because that last teleporter event, we were able to handle the queen rather well. I don't know how hard the other bosses could be. Here. Nope, looks like there's some another chest. What do we got? Bustling fungus. Whole all nearby allies after staying still for two seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. Now. I guess we gotta go this way. Or it is a way we can go. See what's through here. Oh, one of you, whatever you are. Oh. Oh, I do see another barrel. Let's open that up. Eh, what the heck, let's use the missiles just to give us some breathing room as we kind of look around. I don't know if we can actually go... Oh, I guess we should be able to. Well, I say, yeah, we can stand down here. Because I saw another chest right here. I think these are what we want to aim for the most. So that is a ukulele. Okay, that's odd. Oh, and I see something else over that way. Definitely sounds like we're getting ourselves a little bit of a gathering behind us. Whoa. There we go. Open that up. And that is a stun grenade. Chance to stun on hit. That'll be really helpful against the bosses. Speaking of, we really gotta try to figure out where the next teleporter is, because oh, we're into hard now. Yeah, at least we know whatever is coming, it should be the strongest of whatever is out there. So it can't get worse, right? Ooh, what are you? A gunner turret. Nope, can't afford that. At least not yet. And let's use our little portable missile launcher. There we go, able to clear out some of these guys without too much problem. Ooh. Kind of getting a little chaotic here. So let's see what's in the 150 chest. A frost relic. Killing enemies surrounds you with icicles. No idea what that means. I guess we'll find out with some time. Oh, and something right here. A medkit. Received a late heal after taking damage. Okay. We are really up. Ooh. I guess this is the effect of the relic we picked up. I really do like the touches about getting to see everything kind of on your character as you're going around. Nothing, well, I say nothing up here except for a few you guys. Tail you, but easy. Let's we'll see if we can figure out where we gotta go to find this teleporter again. This might hurt. Yeah, that did hurt a bit, but I thought I saw. Now, I 
thought I'd seen a little blue something down there. Maybe not. Okay. That. Okay, let's keep looking around. There's gotta be it somewhere. No, I guess that's. Oh! What is this? Kind of blood. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I do have healing drones, and I do have ways of getting quite a bit of health back, so. That shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. No, yeah, that's no problem. We're already getting back to almost full health from that. I gotta miss the mark with that a bit. Okay, so it doesn't look like the teleporter is down here. I guess we'll head up and look around some more. And this is back where we were. Oh, wait, there's some... Oh, another gunner drone. Perfect. We can get ourselves some more support out here. And just take that one down. And let's see. Oh, something else over here. Another gunner turret? Yeah, let's get... Might as well get you up as well. I just wish those teleporters were a little easier to spot. guys who came falling up after us. We'll clear them out, not too bad. And gotta keep... Oh, there's a very hard level after hard. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping we'd kind of cap out and wouldn't have to worry about them anymore, but I guess we're not going to get that lucky. Oh, well, there's some barrels over here, if I can get to them. Huh. Yeah, the only thing I have to admit right now, it is kind of hard figuring out where the teleporters are, just because they're so kind of inconspicuous as they stand. Like, there's nothing really in the environment that kind of points you in a direction to it. And even then, they don't stand out all that much, do they? Okay, let's see. Maybe over this way? We did fall down. What if we try kind of using the tree as a platform? Well, there is a barrel here, so it's not kind of fruitless. <coughs> It does leave you really kind of directionless. Just get a little drink there. And let's see. Oh. Fireball. Now this game is also multiplayer and you do have co-op for it. I guess we'll just keep going this way. But for now I think I will just keep trying to solo it and go through it. And yeah. Oh, something in here. Maybe something in here. Now. Okay, yeah, quite a few somethings. And we'll just have those helping kind of take out some of these guys as we're exploring. Uh, another kind of dead end. It's not under the water or anything, is it? Nope. Not under the water. Hmm. Okay, where is 
it that we're looking for? At this point, I'm starting to feel like I'm blind and somewhere right in the open. I just have passed it so many times, but... I don't know what that is, but I don't think I like the look of it. There we go. Nope, another level, so I guess I'm level 12 now. I really don't know how high they can go up. Well, this looks like maybe a secluded area. Did I open this up? Yeah, I've opened that up. Okay. Let's... Nope, another jellyfish sort of thing. Let's take that down before it becomes a problem, in case it can. Go. Yeah, what's over this way? Nope, oh, well, a golem. So that's something, but it's not what we're looking for. You know what? I think we're going to try going up whatever this is, this big tree here. I think we may have even been over here already, but... It's worth a look, because I have no idea where to start looking. Oh, yeah, we've definitely been over here. Hmm. This is kind of a troublesome one. Because there's nothing that I've seen that really stands out as this is where it is. Even if it's something where, sure, it's kind of hard to get to, but at least you can see where you gotta go for it. Here, it's a lot of no idea. Hmm. I could try it over there on that. I'm kind of up as high as I can go for this. And I don't think there's anything like a little map to... Yeah, no, there's nothing like a map I can really rely on or try to go off of. Hmm. This is going to take a little bit of looking. Doesn't look like it's up there. Wasn't over there. Maybe back this way-ish? Hmm. Well, we're into very hard at least, so... That'll be something. Come on, where's what we're looking for? Nope, oh, a barrel, so there could be something down this way. Never mind, dead end. I think that's the only issue I have right now, is that the teleporters that you have to kind of get through the stage with are a little too blend into the environment. Going around... The gunplay in that's fun, but the problem is, it gets repetitive with... if you don't really have a way of getting to the next area or starting into the next zone. Is that supposed to mean something there? Well, let's go try find what look at that a little more. Maybe that's what we're actually supposed to be after. Oh no, wait, that was just the blood shrine. So that wasn't it. We were over there. Really perplexing. I 
I don't want to spend too long on this one episode of just how we're going about, or how long it's taking to find this exit, or this teleporter. There's got to be something I'm missing, something that should have been standing out more, and this was it? Oh my god. A wandering... Oh lord. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, well, I got an achievement for surviving 30 minutes, and I'll probably and most likely not survive for much longer given what I seem to be up against. Because this looks like it's... Ow. Two bosses. Oh, yeah, that did me. That killed me. That did me in. So we got advancement. Item will now handle it here in runes. We got basics and we got lone survivor. So that's basically risk of rain in a nutshell. Oh well, let's actually stop all the chaos going on there. And we'll just hit back for a moment. So that was risk of rain too. It is a very fun premise with being in 3D now instead of the 2D. There is still some stuff to get a hang of, and I'll probably play a couple more episodes with the series to try to unlock some other characters. But thank you guys very much for watching me on this first episode. I've been the Survival Vis. Remember to like and sub blah. like and subscribe if you'd like more of this kind of content. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care and stay alive.